instead of an experiment that says, you're a hard-headed boy. I want you to try this out, parents. Parents, are you listening to me? Parents, say this. Say this to your kids every day for the next six months. Six months, okay? For the next six months, every day, tell your child, ang bait bait mo. You are a very good boy. And then you give examples. Specific examples when they were very good. You know, son, I loved it so much when you were caring for your little brother. I saw, I saw you, I saw you. You know, you saw your little brother hungry. You were eating. You shared. I love that in you, son. You're a good boy. Every day, you, your, your children will change. Believe me. Here's number one. There are five things I want to share with you today. The first thing is believe. Everybody say that. Believe that God made you very good. One more time. Believe that God made you very good. If you believe that God made you good, brothers and sisters, you're good. what you believe in will happen. Do you know that? Now if you believe that you're bad, I know many people who think they're bad. You, you listen to their language and you'll hear that. I'm, 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 not, I'm not fit for that. A prayer meeting, no, I might melt. You know? In Filipino, matutunaw ako. You know? uh, magugu, you know? we, we've got people who say, no, I'm, 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 not, I'm, I'm just weak. I'm, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not very strong. Um, I'm still, you see, I'm alive. You know, God, God doesn't want to take me yet because I'm, 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 I'm not very good. You know? and, um, you, you've got all these kinds of language. And brothers and sisters, uh, Last Sunday, I don't know if you recall this, if you were here, but last Sunday I was sharing to you that my grades in math and, and Filipino were 75, 72. You, got, you, you remember that? But do you remember that I was telling you also last Sunday that my religion grade was 95. You know why? You know, I, I, actually last Sunday, after last Sunday, I began to ask actually myself, I wonder why? My grades in, in math were bad, awful. But my grades in religion were very high. And I began to ask myself, when did it start? You know, it started when I was in grade 4. And I began to ask why. I found out why. Ask me why. Why? You really want to know? Yes. Transference of belief. Say that with me. Transference of belief. In grade 4, this is what happened. I did not believe in myself. I did not believe in my intelligence. I did not believe in my religiosity. Did not. But someone did. Who was that? My religion teacher in grade 4. You know what? I'd love to meet him again and shake his hand again because he was responsible for a change in my life. But this is what happened. I, I, when, I was, when I was one or one half year old baby, my parents had to move to Cebu. And so I, I, I went there and I studied there all the way until grade 3. Grade 4, we transferred to Manila. In Manila, this is what happened. My mother brought me to this school and she had to talk to a teacher because I was, I was a transferee. And she, there was no one in the faculty room to talk to except this religion teacher. He was male. He was pretty tall. And then I, I remember, I was here, I was here watching mom and, and the teacher talking. And then, my, I, I could see only my mother's back, but I saw the face of my teacher. Now, I do not know, my mother is in the audience somewhere here, and I do not know what she told that teacher. I, do, I don't know what she did, what she told him. But what she told him, this is the reaction of the teacher. Smiling at me. Mm. And then my mother talks, and then he would look, look at me again. Oh... And then my mother would talk to him again and then he would say, Hmm. You know, I, I, was, I remember that day looking at that teacher and his face. And I was saying, My gosh, what is my mother telling him? Well, anyway, this is what happened. I go to my religion class and he's teaching. I notice that he's smiling at me in a different way. He's smiling at me in a different way. And then this is what happens. He gives me the first exam. He gives all of us the first exam. Do you know what happens after that exam, or during that exam? You know what happened? You want to guess what happened? What happened? I failed. Of course. That was the truth. I was not intelligent and I had, I had bad grades and, and this was me. You know what happened? My religion teacher, after that exam, goes to the class and says this. Class, 
some of you failed the exam. But I do not believe that this is who you are. Class, I want you to take this exam again. And then the teacher looks at me. <laughs> Without mentioning my name, just looks at me. I want you to take this exam again. Looks at me. And then smiles and says, this is not you. And he gives the exam again. You know what? I was floored by him looking at me and saying, you're better than this. I know you're better than this. I had no idea what he, ha what, he, what he was thinking. But for crying out loud, if he, this religion teacher, believed in me, in my goodness, in my intelligence, then maybe there's something about his belief. And I started believing in myself. Guess what happened? When he gave that exam again, I got a perfect score. And when I got a perfect score, guess what? From, from that time on, I excelled in every religion class I took. All the way from grade 4, all the way to, to, my, to my master's subjects in theology. I mean, it just went on and on. Religion, boom! Just all the way. Why? Because of transference of belief. Parents, listening to me? Parents, transference of belief. You've got to believe in your kids. In their goodness. Because when you do not believe in their goodness, they will not believe in their goodness. You've got to be like my religion teacher, who believed in their goodness, transferred it. The way you look at that person, the way you smile at that person, the way, the way you relate to that person. You got what I'm saying? Now, do you believe in yourself? Do you believe in your goodness? Do you believe in your capacity? Amen? Everybody say that again, I'm very good. I'm really good. God made me this way. I sometimes forget. I'm, I sometimes forget I'm good. But I'm really, really, really good deep down. Because I'm made in the image and likeness.